What's up guys, it's your boy Glenn back with another video. So if you own a Chromebook, chances are you are not taking full advantage of all its features and gifts that Google has to offer. Find out more after this. Welcome back guys. In this video, I will be showing you a series of tips and tricks that will significantly improve your Chromebook experience. So one of the benefits of buying a Chromebook is the extras you get with your purchase. When you buy a device which runs on Chrome OS, you get freebies from Google. After you buy your Chromebook and log in, head over to the Chromebook Perks page. You may be eligible for 100 gigabytes of free Google One storage, as well as many other perks. I will leave the link in the description so you can visit the site at the end of this video. One thing to pay attention to is that the offers normally expire 60 days after you first log in to your new Chromebook, so be sure to use them before it's too late. As you can see, I am no longer eligible for perks at this time. Chrome OS gives you the ability for any machine to work with any Google account. When you're on the lock screen of your Chromebook, you can click sign out in the bottom left corner and let someone else sign in with their own Google account. They won't have access to your main account and all of their previous activity on any other Chrome device will be set up on this new machine in its own profile. Taking a screenshot is very easy. Hold the control key and hit the task switching key to capture the screen. You will get an on-screen notification to click and view the screenshot or you can access it through the files app. You can also take a partial screenshot by hitting Control, Shift, and Task Switcher. You will then see a target cursor that you can drag over the precise area you want screen captured. Quickly open any app on your shelf by pressing the Alt and then the number key that corresponds with its position. So for example, Alt 1 for the first app, all two for the second, and so on. Right click or long press on any app on your shelf or in the main launcher to reveal program specific shortcuts. Android apps will have the most options though, allowing you to access app features without having to open up the app to navigate. Chromebooks have a handy overview interface for juggling open apps and windows. You can access it by pressing the task switcher key that is the button that looks like a box with two vertical lines on your keyboard. It is the key to the immediate left of the brightness controls. If you prefer to use the trackpad, you can swipe downward with three fingers from anywhere in the system. This will open the overview interface where you will be able to see all your recently used apps. You can then swipe back upward with three fingers to return to your most recently used process. You can quickly switch between processes by pressing Alt plus the Tab key to toggle back and forth between your two most recently used apps or windows. If you want to move backwards through your recent apps, hold on Shift along with Alt and the Tab key. Minimize an app or window by pressing Alt and the minus key. To get back to your session, press that same key sequence again. Quickly pull up the browser's main menu by hitting Alt plus the letter E while in an active window. When you want to open up a new browser window, Simply hit Ctrl and the letter N. This will quickly open up a new window. Next, I will show you how to improve your text input while in tablet mode. Tap the second icon along the keyboard's top row. That's the one that looks like a rectangle with a small dark rectangle inside it. This will shrink the Chrome OS keyboard into a more manageable phone-like keyboard. 
The good thing about it is that you can move it around using the handle at the keyboard's bottom to place it anywhere on your screen. If you prefer handwriting, be it with your finger or stylus, tap the first icon along the keyboard's top row, that is the one that looks like a snake. This will give you an open canvas on which you can write anything you want by hand and have it converted to text as you go along. Chrome OS on-screen keyboard has a built-in microphone icon that makes voice-to-text very simple for tablet-style usage. Hello Google! Hi! Hello! 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 Hello, hello, hello! To enable this function when not in tablet mode, Open up your Chromebook settings, go to the search bar and type in Manage Accessibility Features. Next, scroll down to where it says Enable Dictation and in bracket you will see Speak to Type. Now activate that toggle. You will now have a small microphone icon in the lower right corner of your screen. Hello Google! next to the notification panel. Don't have a caps lock key? No problem. Press the search and alt keys together to activate caps lock. Once you've come down and are ready to switch back to normal text, press the search and alt keys again. If you really miss having a caps lock key and don't mind giving up the search key to have it, you can remap the search key so that it functions as a caps lock key. Go to your Chromebook settings and search for keyboard. Tap on it and different options will appear. Click on search then select caps lock. You have now changed your search key into a caps lock key. In case you didn't know, the Files app in Chrome OS has a built-in photo editor that's perfect for basic photo editing. To access this feature, open up a photo in your Files app. Now click the pencil shape icon in the upper right corner. You can also get into the editor by hitting the letter E on your keyboard. Watch how I quickly edit a photo. Give your eyes a break from the glare and take advantage of the built-in night mode in Chrome OS. This is very effective whenever you're staring at your screen in the dark. Night light adjusts the temperature of your display to make it less harsh in dim conditions. You may be familiar with this feature as a lot of phones already come with it. You can activate it by tapping on the night light option within the quick settings panel. You can also adjust its strength as well as schedule a time when it will come on. To do this, go back to the quick settings panel at the bottom right of your screen. But instead of tapping the night light icon, tap below the words night light. This will take you to more advanced settings where you will be able to customize to your liking. If you notice that your Chromebook suddenly starts running slowly or an app is acting up, open up the Task Manager to see which apps are negatively affecting your memory and CPU. To quickly access the Task Manager, 
hold the search key and then hit the escape key. You will now be able to manually stop any malfunctioning apps by clicking on where it shows End Process. The last tip I would like to leave with you is how to see all your keyboard shortcuts. Although we went through a lot of shortcuts in this video, we have only scratched the surface. Chrome OS has so many that it would take hours to go through every single one of them in detail. To access your keyboard shortcuts on screen, press and hold the Ctrl key, Alt key and the question mark key. This will allow you to navigate through all your keyboard shortcuts. There is also a search option which makes it super easy to find whatever shortcut you're looking for. If you found these tips to be helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let me know in the comment section what Chromebook you are currently using. As always, thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace.